So I wanted to break down how we set up for a day trade. Uh, I just finished my live trading session with the Learn Plan Profit Group and a lot of people like to ask the question of like, what do I look for? How do you know when you should enter? How do you know when you know something is setting up nicely? Um, let me just give you an example. So first off, any trade setup is never 100% guaranteed. You see an opportunity, there's always some form of risk. My job is not to avoid risk, my job is to manage it. So let me explain. What I'm looking for right now is for a day trade setup, meaning that I buy and sell the stock within the same day. This is QQQ, this is the NASDAQ ETF. We allowed it to sell off. The more that it sold off, the more we welcomed it because that means the cheaper price we can get it for. For the past, what, maybe hour, it's been showing signs, uh, really past 30 minutes, it's been showing signs of a support right around 280 with the resistance of right around you know, 281. This is what we call the consolidation phase. It's trying to establish signs of a support. There's the rejection when it's selling off. I don't wanna add a lot there. There's consolidation, you know, it's showing signs of a support. I might want to take a small position, but you don't have to, especially if you're under the PDT rule or trying to be more selective. And then we wait for the confirmation stage when it begins to indicate signs of an uptrend, when the action is actually happening. That's when I want to average up. And let's go ahead and do the math very quickly. So from overall lows in a perfect world to overall highs, pre-market highs, so it's relevant, right? I'm not looking at highs from a year ago or a month ago or even a week ago I'm looking at what where it was trading at literally right before it opened 1.5 percent 1.57 uh, which means that if i trade the triple leverage etf this one should offer a three times that which would be closer to 4.5 percent and as you can see it offers 4.88 percent so again how do i set this up why well, i already took a small position on tqqq during the signs of consolidation during my live trading session. And this is what I explained to my Learn Plan Profit team. If we break below, I have a stop loss of 1%. I will manage my risk with that smaller position at 1%. So again, I'm not avoiding risk, I'm simply managing it. But why did I justify that I should take it or that I can take it? Because of the risk to reward ratios. It's all about the numbers game. If I see that there's a 4% upside, and I have a risk of a 1% downside, I can lose three times. I can lose 1% three times and lose 3%. But as long as I focus on that consistent criteria of four up, one down, only one out of those four day trades, meaning a 25% success rate, needs to go according to plan, and I will still end up in the green. Because if that 4% trade plays out well once, I make 4%, and yeah, I might have lost three other times 1%, but negative 3% plus positive 4% is still ideal, right? I still end up in the green and I should never be averaging up or buying more of a stock unless we have confirmation. So normally when I take that 1% loss, it's a 1% loss of a much smaller position. And when I make the 4% gain, by that time, I should have had confirmation already and most likely a much larger position. So my profit should outweigh my loss, no question about that. And that is the beautiful thing about the three stages of reversal, rejection, consolidation, and waiting for confirmation, three stages, as well as the importance of position size and risk to reward ratios. When you manage your position size, you are managing your risk because of the dollar amount that you are risking per the trade. And if you don't get confirmation, and if the stock is not actively indicating signs of an uptrend, then it never makes sense to be fully invested when the stock is still consolidating or possibly still selling off. And this is why we talk about position size and confirmation so, so much. And then the last thing, of course, is the risk to reward ratio, making sure that the odds are always in your favor, that you should never be scared to take advantage of an opportunity but always welcome the opportunity itself, but knowing that you are managing your risk. So if you have a higher success rate, maybe you can justify a three to one ratio, a two to one ratio, meaning that you can trade stocks that offer a 2% upside and a 1% downside, or a 3% upside and a 1% downside, or a 5% upside and a 1% downside if maybe your success rate is less than 20%. But understand that you are the only person that can hold themselves accountable to what it is that you choose to take advantage of. 
and it's your responsibility to make sure that it meets your criteria when it comes down to these risk to reward ratios, making sure that the odds are always in your favor. Again, I go into much more detail about this in our Learn Time Profit 2.0 course, and there's full PDFs that explain perfectly the three stages of a reversal and also the risk to reward ratio. So if you have any questions about what we talked about today, you can either send me a direct message via Discord, which is the first link down below, or feel free to send me a message uh, via Instagram, and that's that third link down below. Friendly reminder, if you guys want to join LPP, that is going to be that second link in the description, and that's our A to Z video lesson library, our private group chat, that is uh, access to my daily live trading sessions, private group chat, and access to the TechBuds HQ. It's all inclusive. It's a one-time payment, lifetime access. And again, right now it's $100 off. And that is that second link in the description. So it looks like my camera just turned off. I do apologize for that. But again, the three stages of reversal, rejection, consolidation, and confirmation. So if you find yourself sometimes buying way too early, the three stages will help. And also, if you find yourself buying too much too early, then this is where position size will, will help. And if you find yourself taking losses where your losses outweigh your wins, then again, that is where the structure of the risk to reward ratio will help. So this is all explained in a lot more detail in LPP 2.0. And again, if you want access to this, the only team that I work with and that I trade live with every single day is my learn plan profit group so other than that i appreciate you guys time hope that it earned a thumbs up please consider subscribing and if you are asking what trading platform i am using i am using the webull desktop app it is free for everyone in the us and if you use the fifth link in the description of this video it will earn you 12 free stocks when you deposit one dollar and that's really just it like always let's make sure that we in the year on a green note take it easy team